What's up guys? So today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your Mayhem firmware on your Porter Pack in HackerF. So there's a couple ways you can do this. I'm going to be showing you how to do it on the website today and we're going to set the correct permissions. That's an important part of this. So I also want to talk about how you may also do it with a utility. So if you connect by USB to your computer, you can actually use this flash utility right here. So this flash utility is in the utility section in the Mayhem uh, actual Porta Pack, and you can then select what you want to flash. But you don't need to do that anymore because there's actually a website. So we're going to go ahead to the website. So the first thing you're going to need is a data cord. So you need a data capable cord. You're not just going to be able to do this with any charger. It needs to be data capable. So once you have that hooked up to your Porta Pack and you're ready to connect it to your computer, what you're going to need is a Chrome based browser. In my case, I'm using Chromium as we have about to open. So let's go ahead and open that first. Go to Chromium. Chromium, by the way, is the open source version of the Chrome browser. So next what we need to do is connect our HackerF and Porta Pack right up to our computer. So we'll do that with this USB right here. And now we have it connected. Now after that, we're going to go to hackrf.app. And this is going to be the web page that's going to help us manage our Porta Pack. It's really cool. You even get to see the interface. So we're going to go ahead and connect our device. But the first thing you're going to want to do after you connect your Porta Pack to it by USB is you're going to want to take a look at your device name. In my case, it's TTYACM0. Now what I need to do next is I need to set some permissions. CHMOD A plus RW, so that's read and write, and then the device name, which is the Porta Pack. And that's going to allow us to write that firmware over to our Porta Pack. Without that permission change, it's unlikely that you're going to be successful at this. So we'll go ahead and we run our command to set those permissions. I can go ahead and list that device once again. And as you can see up here, the permissions show it was missing that read and write privileges for the user. And so what I have done is I've actually added the read and write and you can see it's added here. So I first listed our device. I want to do a little breakdown just so you understand what you're doing. Uh, in the devices, that is the Porta Pack. It shows that when I listed its privileges or its actual permissions, I should say, it was missing read and write there. So we added the read and write there so we can actually use our browser to write to it. Next, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and hit connect to device. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit connect right here. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? You can actually see and control your Porta Pack right on the browser. So we could go ahead and play around with that if we wanted to, and we'd have a live screen to work with. Now, what we want to do is we want to actually get firmware on there. So what we're going to go down, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and we're going to click Manage Firmware. So what you have are a few different options. You could even flash a custom version of firmware. So if you had some really awesome firmware you wanted to flash, you could do that if you were working on something on the side. Or you could update to the latest nightly release. Now I want to warn you there, I've tried the nightly release and of course you're going to run into bugs. For those who aren't familiar with nightly releases, it's just the latest revision and it does have some bugs in it. What I recommend is go to update to the latest stable release and so that's what I'm going to select right here. And you can even see it working in the background. If you take a look at that terminal, it's actually running over those commands to upgrade the firmware itself. And as you can see, we also have a percentage right here. It's showing we only have a couple seconds left. And look at that. We have flashed the latest stable release of the Mayhem firmware. So now I'm excited to try it out. So now that we've done that, 
we don't need to be in this window anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the X right here. And then it looks like we're good to go. This is actually the first time I've actually used this page. So let's go ahead and try it out. Let's go ahead now and make sure we can boot it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect it from that. I don't have any antenna connected, but we could still take a look at the Hacker F and just take a little peek at what we may have anything new on here. So you're going to want to reboot it, of course, because before you reboot it, you're still going to be running that old version of firmware. So we're going to go ahead and just take a look around to see if anything pops up for us. So let's take a look at the receive. I haven't actually checked this out. Now, we also have this fox hunt. I do want to make a video on that sometime. And we have ProtoView over here. So let's just take a look. It's been a while since I've used this, actually. But we can just take a look around. Go back to Transmit. Well, maybe, oh, look at that, Flipper. TX. I didn't have that last time. That's interesting. I will have to look into that. So pretty neat, isn't it? You can do all of your firmware upgrades right from your web browser, just as I showed you how to do it today on our latest video. So thank you guys. Make sure to share this video with other people who have interest in radio and the HackRF and Portapack. And we're going to definitely be doing more videos on this device because it is such a cool device to have. Uh, so Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're having trouble with the website or setting those permissions, leave a comment. I'll be happy to help you get your firmware upgraded. So thank you guys for sharing this video. It's a really big support. If you want to support the channel, you can go to bmc.link slash politictech. There's plenty of options there, but the best way to support this is to share this video and leave a comment, like it, share it, and I'll be back later with more on the HackerRef and tech.